Hello Galaxy, good morning. It is the day after I visited Star Wars Galaxy's Edge and I thought I would just give you some thoughts that I had upon reflection. Um, you know, I, 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 uh, I don't know how to explain it, right? It's a feeling. It's just kind of like fandom, like a, a feeling of, of belonging. And even coming here, the day that Galaxy's Edge is officially launching, um, it is uh, still a bit surreal, but I'm really... <laughs> really enjoying seeing so many people wearing like Star Wars shirts like I've got my Ithorian shirt on Momane Don um, I'm coming into the park again today won't be going to Galaxy's Edge I thought I would have had like an extra reservation through the hotel but that was rescinded not going to complain because uh, the uh, the experience really needs to be enjoyed by as many people as possible and I don't want to take away from somebody else's experience that would be a bit selfish so the feeling that I had was that A, there wasn't enough time, but the good news is is that the time restriction will be lifted in less than a month's time. Um, but beyond that, I think the, uh, the, uh, the feeling was this, this feeling of like being immersed. And that is something that I don't think I've ever had at a theme park, certainly, or really in many places. Like, I wasn't just on Batuu. I wasn't just in Galaxy's Edge at Disneyland. I wasn't at Disneyland. I was in Star Wars. It was like the closest thing that I've ever felt. And I didn't necessarily feel that so much going in. I was just kind of interested in taking it all in, you know, the first time, the first experience reacting. But I felt it when I left. And I was probably the person who's carrying the most amount of uh, merch. Uh, I got it all into the luggage, under 50 pounds. <laughs> Thank goodness I packed lightly. Um, but the, uh, uh, the feeling I had was as I was leaving just like I was going back to reality even though yes every day is Star Wars day for me and, and I can't wait to go home um, I just could not help but feel and I'm just going to switch around here so you can see Tomorrowland even though we're moving towards Star Tours and Hyperspace Mountain which I plan on riding like incessantly today wrote it yesterday with my glasses off but I'm going to try it again because it's in the dark it's a roller coaster in the dark it's insane so I'm going to hold on to my glasses <laughs> this next time. Anyway, the feeling I got when I left was that I was coming back down to reality. Or that, you know, I was entering a theme park. So I was, like, leaving a place where I belonged. I was leaving a planet, right? I was leaving... I was leaving Star Wars. That was my feeling. And, and I think that's important to state because I suspended disbelief. And I didn't even have to suspend disbelief. It just happened. Like, everywhere I looked... I was, I was on Batu. It was so immersive. And just knowing that that feeling came over me as I exited the Galaxy's Edge uh, attraction or land, whatever you want to call it, um, it said everything to me. Uh, it, it, it was not, not like waking up from a dream, but, but kind of like that. And, and, you know, I told Diana this morning, you know, I, I, I told her I appreciate her le letting me have that. And knowing that, you know, I'm a different person and I'm hoping that, you know, someday, you know, either she can feel that same kind of joy if she hasn't with something or, you know, maybe I can, <laughs> slowly but sure, maybe if she goes to Batu, then she'll feel the same way that I do. Probably not, but it's that, uh, that, 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 that knowing that I was there. And that's the thing I wanted to say. That, that is my, that, that, that is my reflection upon going to Batu yesterday, so... Uh, I'm going to see if I can get a few more pieces of merch that I might want if I could cram it into the luggage because I'm out of space. I'm not out of weight. I'm out of space. So uh, may the force be with you.